right, so I am uh, going to do a demonstration about how you control doing a subtle shot shaping with your trainer. So, the ball trainer is designed, if you can imagine that, that the club is 90 degrees to that, it's designed to keep the club 90 degrees to your path, which would be square to path, right? So if your path is moving this way, club is square. It's teaching you the orientation of your arms in order to achieve that. So you can see if my arms, if one goes above the other, the other one goes above, now I'm opening the face and closing the face, right? So this naturally wants to move you toward a neutral relationship between those two things. So those of you with giant slice and pull hook, this is a great tool to help that. Because And where you're paying attention to is largely this. That's what you're learning to not do, twisting and turning of the arms through the ball. So, but let's say, and then what you need to do is learn. So you have that, you feel that in your body, how that works, how your arms are working, how you're moving that. And then you need to figure out what neutral is for you. So for me, I kind of like to take this, put it under a little bit of tension, and just let my hand go where it goes. And then I feel like that's neutral for me. So I've got my neutral grip, which I think you can turn the club in your grip to change, to create shot shape. I don't, I, I feel like it's already so hard to get, for me, to get a grip that's right, that I would leave, rather leave my grip alone and do it differently. So my version, I'll do one which, in theory at least, this is should be a straight shot. So I've got my neutral grip, and I keep my arm plane just like with my trainer. Keep my arm plane together, right? Not a great shot, but probably relatively straight. Um, so, there's that one. Now, if that's square to path, now that's close to path, right? So if I take my trigger again, say I want, I like hitting a draw. And this is probably, and this is the reason why people, I think, they, it's not often the grip; it's often the shape of where they go, right? So, draw, make it really bad. It's a pull hook. But if you want him to draw, take and just subtly close your face to path, which is just letting this arm move a little above this arm. Now you don't want to lose it or really go with it. So, and it's obviously happening here. It's not happening there. But if you have the intention of getting to here, you'll subtly, you'll be moving subtly toward that, and you'll get a, a degree or two of face closing through the ball, and that'll produce a draw. And then the reverse would be, I want to hit a fade, change my image more to that. So go back the same, go back perfectly on square, face, square to path, go back the same. But then in the finish, you make your choice, straight, draw. So feel that, feel how your arms are working. So in this instance, you're paying attention to the orientation of your arms through the ball. That's what's going to control the face, assuming you find a neutral grip for you, right? If you have a grip that's very strong like this, this won't work. Everything will be a full hook. So we're working on a very neutral way of approaching the golf swing. So I'm going to do, I did the one, I'm going to do draw, which is going to be for me, I'll square up that way. Fade is going to be a finish one like that. So we'll try the three. May not, may not achieve it, but I'll do my best. Draw first. Okay, that little bit of draw, probably a little overdone. And uh, obviously if I was going to hit a draw, I wouldn't start a draw toward the middle and then I would aim it to the right and bring it back, which maybe I should actually try that. So I'll try to aim these shots. So now, orienting myself a little bit to the right, and then my intention is now to hit a draw, go back square, and 
So there you go. That's uh, that's how I would work. But uh, you can do the opposite. You can move your grip. But I think a grip, personally, getting a grip that's neutral and repeatable is so hard. And then if you try to start changing that, at least for me, that's more difficult than just adding a little thing at the very end of my swing. And it tends this tends to be a more subtle approach, right? So if you need, a, you're not going to get a giant slice doing this. You'll get the small shapes, right? So give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> 